Hey Power Users, so today we will be going back to the beginnings, but I believe this is an important video to make, so let we will be creating a simple pop-up screen here. Where we will be triggering this pop-up on the on push of the button. So first of all, let's get down to the business. And first of all, what we need to do is to have a button. I've called it trigger pop-up. And on this button, on select, we will be creating a context variable let's call it log pop up trigger pop up and we will set it to true let's close the brackets Sorry, Mark, my keyboard is one key to the to the right from what I'm used to, so I keep missing the thing, the proper bu buttons. So basically, when we click this button, the, the context uh, variable will be set to, to true. Now we'll be creating two rectangles. Let's go. First off, rectangle. Let's change its color to some kind of gray and let's go here remember when you click on the right side your function you can see it in the left top menu so this is what i've done here and the fourth argument of of this is opacity so let's change it to 03 02 no, 06 0 Oh, sorry, let's skip 06 and let's create this visibility of rectangle to the local variable we just created. How it is played? See, the rectangle is not visible, it cannot set it to invisible just yet. Let's go with the next rectangle. Yup. Is it in the centers? Okay, you know how to center things. I won't be telling about this. Let's go with the white color. Uh, maybe keep it a little bit smaller. And was well, let's keep its visibility also to our local variable. Now let's create the possibility to close this window to cancel. Yep. And in the cancel on select, we will be also updating context of this variable not pop up is visible to false okay. so now we have fully working pop up window we still need one thing we need to change visibility of this icon also local pop-up oh, no. no update context so. no. of course now let's see it there we go. It's working. As you can see, we cannot trigger this pop-up. We, we need to close the pop-up first. So now we will just needing any kind of label. I went, I won't waste time of styling this thing and just keep it large. Pop up name. 
I know that probably you will want to inform user about what this pop-up is about. And also, of course, the button. We can have two buttons, yes, no, but we have already the X for leaving the pop-up, so we will just create the confirm button. Where is it? Text. Go. And of course, what you want to do also is we have now, I believe, all the things we need for our pop up. Of course, remember to rename in your code all those. Uh, items uh, according to the Microsoft guidelines. So labels will be L LBL, button will be BTN, etc. Uh, we want to grab all these things with control. Yeah, we got this one. And of course, now we will want, want to group this. Let's rename this group to group pop up uh, i usually name my pop-ups so that would be they would be recognizable in my apps you can use your screen name or screen name plus something if you get more than one pop-up in your screen uh, i have group pop-up and now when i where i have a group my group also have functions its uh, properties so we would need to set the visible to lock pop-up visible uh, i showed you uh, at first i show you how to do it per item but i think you should do it per group and if this group is set now correctly ah uh, it's not working correctly why because this x we have here it, it needs to be reordered and bring to front let's look at here yeah it's working now of course that's not it we still need to tweak some things a little bit in the confirm button of course you will have your code so i want the Telling you what you want to do with the confirm button. Let's write your code goes here. And still you need to update context of the local variable. No, pop up is visible to false for you in order to after execution of this code to close the pop-up. Yeah. So we have all the things here. You have grouped pop-up with your variable as uh, as the pop-up trigger, and it's it's a boolean type. This pop-up is fully working. You can now execute your code code on the pop-up. That's all. Hope this was helpful. I know that it's uh, it can be hard to create uh, simple things in Power Apps sometimes, but this is. This is really the way you go with the pop up. See you in the next episode. Of course, you can watch my other videos. I've placed a lot of those on YouTube, so you can learn something from there, hopefully. I know that I did while creating them. So, see you next time. Bye.